On today's episode, what we're gonna do is fire two different bullets that I've cast from the same mold. On the left side here in the bigger can, I used hard cast lead. This is from actual shot pellets from a shotgun. Over here in the smaller can, we've got 100% pure soft cast lead. Now I've heard that soft cast lead gives you a much higher velocity than the hard cast lead. Obviously the hard cast is gonna be better for penetration. Not gonna work really great for hollow points like the soft cast does, but it's a good lead to use if you have really large game, let's say elk or moose or a bear that you want to take down, and you really need that extra punch power to power through a large shoulder blade or something like that. So to test it out today, what we're gonna do is fire through the Pro Chrono Chronograph. We've got a target out here at 50 yards, and I'll put a camera down on the target so you can actually see the impacts as we go here. So to start out with here, I'm gonna fire three rounds from the hard cast lead through the chronograph. We'll see what kind of numbers it gives us, see what kind of accuracy it gives us down there on the target. I'll go refill the air pressure back up to 3600 PSI on the rifle, and then we'll take our three shots from the soft cast lead through the chronograph. We'll also see what kind of accuracy that gives us down range. Let me go ahead and set up the cameras. Go ahead and load one of these hard cast bullets in there. Let's see what kind of velocities we get. We got the camera down on the target, so we should be able to see the accuracy as well. We got a little piece of paper there. Eight hundred and fifty-six feet per second. That's pretty fast. And that was that hard cast lead. I do believe that's a little bit slower than I typically see from the soft cast lead. Let's go ahead and fire another round through that. All right, here we go. Shot number two. 812 feet per second on that shot. You can see from quite a ways away here the air from this rifle is just blowing that chronograph all over the place. I definitely pulled a bit on that one when I yanked the trigger. So it says 776 feet per second on that third shot. Let me go ahead and refill the air pressure in the rifle and we'll take three shots from that soft cast lead. So I've refilled the air pressure back up to 3600 psi. I'm gonna go ahead now and fire our first round from the soft cast lead. Let's see what kind of velocity differences we can get. Here we go, shot number one. 838 feet per second. Well, I don't know about you, but that looks like it wasn't even as fast. So let's go ahead and fire another round. I'm wondering if the soft cast lead actually is a little bit slower because it probably gets a little softer as it goes down the barrel, sticks to the barrel a little bit better. Let's go ahead and fire number two here. 803 feet per second. So it looks like we got 768 feet per second on that last shot. I'll go ahead now and throw up on the screen a comparison there, shot for shot, side by side between the hard cast and the soft cast lead, so you can see the shot velocity differences. And we'll also take a look down on the target. I was pulling most of those shots. I don't have any kind of bag that I'm shooting off. I'm kind of just shooting off of hand here. So that last shot gave us 768 feet per second. I'll throw up on the screen real quickly here for you a shot for shot comparison between the hard cast and the soft cast lead. Now for the accuracy test, I don't have a bag or any kind of shooting rest I'm shooting from, kind of just shooting off hand through this thing. So we're not gonna see the best accuracy down there on the target, but this will give us a good indication if there's actually any kind of velocity difference between the hard cast and those soft cast bullets. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. 